A Lego border post is one of the exit routes Ugandans fleeing a resurgence of political tensions in South Sudan are using. Thus arriving a part of UPDF's evacuation campaign that has seen a total of 3,782 Ugandans who ply their trade in the various towns in the troubled nation return home. They are registered at Elegu and Bibia border posts. Uh, over the weekend we informed you of the first batch of returnees. Uh, that was at 3,782. And uh, out of this we had 3,255 3, Ugandans. We had one Tanzanian, a Congolese, a Lebanese, a Nigerian, two South Koreans, two Britons, eight Eritreans, one Somali, two Ethiopians, 17 South Sudanese, these ones are non-refugees, and then uh, four Rwandese, 14 Burundians, 306, 306 Kenyans, 269 South Sudanese who were seeking asylum. Fred Enanga, the police spokesperson, says the evacuation is being spearheaded by the UPDF although police has increasingly offered logistical support, including extra trucks. The latest convoy departed from Elego for Juba on Saturday to evacuate those still trapped in Juba. Among the returns are the sick, pregnant women, wounded, children, and elderly persons. The Sudanese police reported the loss of cars and motorcycles during the evacuation of Ugandans from South Sudan, but urged the Ugandan police to register returnees who have cars and motorcycles.